Hello students. I hope you all are well and safe at your home. I welcome you all to this EVS video class. This video is for class 2 subject environmental science. Chapter number is 11 and the name of the chapter is animals. This video is prepared by your EVS teacher Deepa Singh. So let's start our chapter. Animals. You all are familiar with animals. Animals are of basically three types wild animals, domestic animals and pet animals. Let us start with the let's warm up. In this let's warm up there are some pictures of the animals and you have to identify to which category do these animals belong. W stand for wild animals, D stand for domestic animals and P stand for pet animals. So first picture is of dog. So dog is a pet animal. So we will put P. The next is of a lion. Lion is a wild animal. So we will put W. Next picture is of elephant. Elephant is a wild animal. So W will come. Next picture is of a cat. Cat is a pet animal. So P will come. Next picture is of a buffalo. Buffalo is a domestic animal. So D will come. And at the last, the picture of hen is here. It is also a domestic animal. So D will come. So in these three categories, we divide the animals. Wild animals, domestic animals and pet animals. Now let us start our chapter. Animals. Animals are found in different shapes and size. As all of you know that animals, they are found in the different shapes and different size. Some animals are small, some are tall, some are big, some are fat, some are thin. So they are different types of animals with the different shapes and different size. They can move, grow, and eat food. They are living things like us. So animals, they also move from one place to another. They also grow from baby to adult. And they also eat food. And they are living things like us. Next is body parts of animals. Like human beings, we have different body parts in the same way. Animals also have different body parts. Some animals have special body parts. Like birds, birds have wings and feathers to fly. So birds they have wings and feathers to fly. When the birds fly, these wings and feathers help them to fly. They have two legs and a beak.
rather than teeth birds have two legs and they have a beak which help them to eat the grains and the birds do not have teeth they have light bones which help them to fly birds are having the light bones because of which they are able to fly easily now we will see some examples of the common bird we have some common birds like sparrow pigeon and crow parrot duck all these are the common birds we can see them in our daily life they have beak they have two legs so this thing is common in them next we have is insects insects are crawling flying or creepy creatures so what are insects insects are crawling flying or creepy creatures their body is divided into three parts the body of the insect is divided into three parts all insects have six legs one thing is common in the insects that they have six legs they have a pair of antenna on their heads on their head they have a pair of antenna pair means two two antenna they are having on their heads now let us see some examples of some common insects ant mosquito butterfly honey bee cockroach all these are the common insects which we can see next topic is life cycle of a butterfly life cycle means the birth of the butterfly until it grows into an adult all that process comes under the life cycle a butterfly is an insect that lays eggs so butterfly is a insect that lays eggs its life cycle has four stages egg caterpillar pupa and butterfly so life cycle of a butterfly has four stages egg caterpillar pupa and butterfly first egg will be there egg will be converted into caterpillar caterpillar will be converted into pupa and pupa at the last will be converted to butterfly so four stages of life cycle of a butterfly is there egg caterpillar pupa and butterfly so in the diagram also we can see first egg is there then caterpillar will come then caterpillar will comes into adult emerges from it and after that adult butterfly grows up so this is a life cycle of a butterfly so students in this video we have studied about the different animals about birds their common features and the insect and their common features so this video is still here in the continue with the same chapter thank you and have a nice day ahead